Welcome back. Let's continue our wall journey. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up uh, TOTP Secrets Engine. So I think I already have my vault uh, running. <clears throat> yes, I do. So <clears throat> let's go to the engines, enable the new engine and TOTP. Once this is enabled, we are going to go to the IAM console. I'm going to choose an Amazon account. And here we go to create users, MFA user, and we want to provide access to the <coughs> console and next and create user. So after the user was created, and if you go back to the user's dashboard, what the hell? Okay. You can see that, oh, let's create a new one. <laughs> so demo user, I want to create I am user, next create user, and if you go back to users and go to the demo users, it says that it's enabled without MFA. So what we want to do is to enable MFA and choose the authenticator up. And let's do this with the demo. And here we are going to need the show secret key. This is one part. And if you go back to the CLI, we have to export the vault address and we have to issue the following command. Vault, write TOTP keys demo and the URL is going to be the following. OTP out TOTP at uh, Amazon person sign 20 web person sign 20 services and we will use the TOTP at demo question mark secret equals and this is where this secret comes in handy so we have to paste it and as you can see this data was written to TOTP keys demo and now uh, we have to read it so vault read TOTP code demo and 161728 and we have to wait a little bit to generate a new code. It should time out in 30 seconds. Oh, 610450 and add MFA. Now we have successfully enabled it. It means that the configuration in Vault is working. So we can get the code this way. And then what we can also do is to basically uh, create an access key and we want to create for the CLI and of course I understand it and we don't need any description and if we go back we can use the AWS configure command. This is just going to be a demo so I reconfigure the access key and reconfigure the secret key and default region we can leave everything on the default and after that we can use the AWS IAM list MFA devices dash dash username demo and if everything goes well it should oh I should assign a permission to this demo user and add permission policy and let's give it the 
administrator access. Next. Okay. So once this is set, we have to be able to execute that command successfully. So AWS IAM list MFA devices. And as you can see, this is working properly. So the MFA is enabled for this user and you should be able to use Vault to read the code anytime you need it. And that was all. See you in the next one.